easily wide enough to walk down comfortably. They're five feet. Yep, they're, five, they're five feet. Okay, they're, they're fully five feet. Yeah, I just want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. They're fully five feet. There's no squeezing. You're easily able to walk down them. They're nice corridors. You could walk down two abreast and it would be comfortable. Hey, Grail, how you going? Good evening, all. I don't know if it would be comfortable cool. considering how awkward we all are, but I see what you're saying. We have just we have, we have wandered around um, the place a bit <coughs> cool. while you were away. Yep, no problems. We found, found, an, organ, we found an, an organ and a tricky locked box. We also found a big sword that we picked up and a like a crafting table essentially for making soul spirit cells. A soul but nothing, forge. yeah, soul forge, yeah, but nothing too threatening or interesting yet. The box is interesting because, like, it's a complicated one that you have to do a whole bunch of stuff to get into. Most mm -hmm. of the stuff we can't do here, but we can show that to you if you want when we cut when we finish exploring. Yep, well, you've, had, you've had it down here, have you? Yeah, so there's another corridor, looks like those go back to the blue room, but there's another corridor off here. That leads to another opening. Yep, sure, let's go. What's this in the corner? Uh, so that's just a uh, pile of burnt timber, it looks like. Um, so, but like uh, the charred remains are like. Mm, in bigger chunks, it's not just ash. Um, there are actual pieces of wood still left there that have like decayed. Okay. So okay, there's been there's been a few places. Hmm. So I'm assuming this tunnel up to the top almost certainly leads back to where we where we started. Yeah, yeah. back to where I picked the armor up. Mm hmm. Can I? I'm not sure. I mean, after seeing seeing like seeing a few of these rooms and stuff, could, could you work out whether like some of this has been like is this like what what Kree wants to try and figure out is that this was like an accident, like something happened here that wasn't expected, and you know you know it's, you know with the cave ins and everything like that, or was this like deliberate? Because I've seen a lot of the, I've seen a few bits of like ashes and burnt stuff now. I'm wondering whether this was done like. Because it doesn't seem like it's. It doesn't seem like we. Does it seem like there's any like any other damage around the places, excluding the spots where the where the de debris and stuff are. Like there's no like other marks anywhere. It's all clean. Yeah, the walls aren't damaged or anything like that. Um, yeah. So yeah. So I guess I'm pretty. It looks sure like a lot like... of stuff has been removed. Like yeah. there's obviously a lot of room in this room that stuff could have been in, and, uh, been and there's just like stuff in one corner. Yeah, and it's been destroyed. <laughs> yeah, so that that's all sort of thing. So had you does creep think this has been done like deliberately, like someone purposely set this on fire, or was this just like an accident or something? I don't know whether I can tell. Uh... This room remains, but I want to try and get a sense essentially. Make an arcana check for me. Sure. Yes. You believe that this was done using the spirit arts. It's not like, it doesn't look like a natural fire. It looks like the whole thing was set on fire at once. And even then, it doesn't look like it was fire as you know it. Like it wasn't a normal magical flame. There was yep. some kind of ritual being done. Okay, interesting. Good to know. Just want to check. Do we want to head down here now? To the more, to the more pile of debris? Yep. Um, it doesn't look like burnt things that we've encountered. No, it doesn't look like the tree. It looks like furniture tree. that's been okay. burnt. There's like obvious pieces of um, what looks to be some kind of cabinet. Yeah, cool. All right. I don't want to go too close to all of this greenery. Oh well, just plants. Until, until they until they stand up and attack you, they just plant. If anyway. you're worried about it, if you're worried about it, I'll just fling some fire on and see what happens.
I'll just pick it on it. I'll pick a spot here. There we go. Boom. All right. One second. Two. All right. Uh, let me just put a turn <laughs> order out, and you can select your tokens and go to initiative. <laughs> Oh, this that is not great. That is, that is an excellent role for it. Oh, I, guess, right. I guess it really wasn't expecting someone to come in here and throw fire on. <laughs> Alright, the first person to react is Rooker. You see the fire um, land in amongst them, uh, the vines, and the vines move and shift away from them. They move around a bit. Um, you think that it's unnatural and disturbing. Um... Exactly you what you're talking about. You can make me a perception that check. You validated. Yeah, so make me a perception check, Rooker. Hot 22. All right. You're pretty sure that there's... Um... Actually, we'll put both of these guys on. So you can tell that hiding in amongst uh, the other vines are these vine creatures. Okay, they're... They were basically invisible um, mixed in amongst the other vines, but when that magical fire came in, they couldn't help but react a tiny bit, uh, and you've spotted these two. Okay. Well, it's time to use my new sword. <clears throat> Which one? <laughs> uh, my rapier, not the... Uh... <laughs> not the massive chunk of metal. Not the massive, yeah. I'm going to say that a 7 doesn't hit. That's correct. It does not hit. You have missed. Uh, yep, that'll do you for your turn. Uh, Avanan? Uh, um, how big are these things? Uh, so they're human-sized. Okay. So I can fine. shoot they're, them. They're sort of bigger. A bit bigger. But they're like um, lither because they're made out of vines. Okay. So I can... Move in and shoot, shoot the one. That's you can not see it, this one that uh, Rooker is attacking. Now that you can see, like now that he's attacked something, you can mm -hmm. you can certainly make this one out okay. without having to make a perception check. All right. Well, I'll take that one then with my bow. Okay. Yep. Um. Yep. You. It only goes downhill from here. <laughs> yeah, that looks that looks very painful for it. Um, as as you smash through the vines that are sort of flailing around in the air, um, and actually plant it right in its center. Uh, but it does absorb that arrow. It absorbs it. Yep. Oh, I need it did, that. It, it did cut up a bunch of the vines, but um, then it sort of oh. eats the arrow. Oh, I'm not shooting them anymore. Uh, you've got a bonus action if you want to do something with it. Can I do anything with that bonus action? Not really. Yeah. Maybe. I don't, I don't want to use okay. my... You can, you can abuse Rooker. All right. Uh, Critty. How is this my fault? <laughs> you you were the one that prompted the <laughs> the debate yeah. about whether there was anything down there. And then charged in. Yep, yeah, cool. Um so sorry, which one was damaged? Uh the one that Rook is attacking. So this one. Yep, cool. I would like to toll the dead on that one then, because that has been damaged. Mm-hmm. Save. 14. Yeah, that, that passes. Cool. Awesome. Resist I'm back up and do a corner. Then. Here it arts. Uh, all right. Ufna? All right. I'm going to fling some fire at this one here. Mm hmm. 
Oh. I mean, that, that certainly hits it. And... I rolled snake eyes for my damage dice. Throw a match at it. <laughs> One for the... Uh, it good. doesn't like that. But, however, unlike the uh, thorn men from earlier, mm -hmm. uh, this is not made out of some kind of dry wood material. These are like juicy, juicy vines. Um, so the fire is effective, and it makes them wilt a tiny little bit because it wasn't super effective. That's cool. Uh, right. That's going to make it. There you go. Uh, this one that is fighting Rooker is going to try and attack him. Oh, wow. That's a good attack. Uh, all right. Uh, Uh, it does you three points of damage, and you are being held by it. You're restrained uh, by the vine, which just means that you can't move. Okay. Yep. Um, unless you try to break free. Uh, and this one from back here sends some vines over to lash at you. Mm hmm. And I don't let it gain. Eight. <laughs> okay, and this one knocks you unconscious. Come on. Good start. Good, yes. We're going well. Uh, all right. Uh, that will make its rookers go straight off the bat. That's uh, so one of these funky saves. <clears throat> For future mm -hmm. reference, just because we see enemies or monsters, we don't have to attack them. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like that. Okay, that's that one step towards true. life. More future reference because <laughs> uh, it's a Vandans go. Um, Van doesn't want to lose any more arrows, but Van also does not want to get attacked. So Vanna's going to shoot them again. Shoot the same one he shot last time. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Does he swallow the arrow? Uh, no. He oh, doesn't. Yeah. It just it just smashes through some vines um, and sort of hangs uh, through part of him. Part of a mass of his vines. Um, he is writhing. Uh, he seems to be going a little bit crazy. Uh, you, think he's, you think he's pretty injured. Critty. Uh, nice. Okie dokie, I'm going to try that Toll the Dead again, because it worked so well last time. Mm -hmm. Don't sound the same person, obviously. It's nice damage if it works. Uh, yeah. No. No, it does not. Wow, rude. <laughs> uh, no. Can I... Oh, I can't yep, you can do something else? Yeah, no, I can't, because... You... Can you cast the only two other thing you can... The turn? You can, as long as they're both cantrips, yep. Yeah, cool, then I'll, I'll bonus action cantrip uh, Shirelele on my stuff. Yep. And probably get ready to fight them as they move closer. It will if they move closer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ufna? I'm going to move up to here. I'm going to grab Rooker and try and pull him back. All right, you're able to move in five feet. Actually, hang on a second. Before I do that, mm -hmm. I'll open my character sheet. Have a look. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, I'm going to actually cast Cure Wounds on him instead. Okay. Since I have spell slots, and if I move him, it'll probably provoke an attack of opportunity. Eight health. Eight health. There you go. Pretty good. good. You have one point of fatigue. 
Uh, and it is there go. All right, this one is going to attack Ufna. Does a 13 hit you? Yes, it does. Takes seven points of damage and a restraint. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one's just going to continue attacking Ruka. Nine. That's going to be a miss. Oh. It is. Yep, it's still a miss. Even with you lying on the floor, that's going to be a miss. Uh, oh, although technically he has advantage. So that eight also would be a miss. Uh, all right. That's going to make it Rooker's go. You're awake, but you are covered in vines. <laughs> um, can I stand? Is that going to be Yes. You, yeah. you are... Hmm. Yes, I'm not you can moving stand. away. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, you can't move away. That's fine. You can stand up. All right, I'll stand up and I'll try and slice it with the Slice-O-Matic 5000. Okay. No. That's not good. All right. Avaman. Um... New fancy sword isn't working out too well. <laughs> I guess I'll just shoot him again. I don't know what else to do. I don't have anything else I can do. You don't have any shoot spells this. that could help. Shoot this. No, I don't have any spells. I'm not a spell man. I can make you a ring. <laughs> uh, okay, so you shoot this guy again. Yeah. Um, it was sort of flailing pretty wildly. Uh, and there's that arrow... Um, passes through it, it sort of smashes the last of it um, into just a tangle of vines that stop moving. Huzzah. You're, you're all welcome. <laughs> Gritty. The other one is actually doing damage to it. Cool. Um, I guess with them taking the bottle hits, I will move 15, 20. Can I move into range it to whack it? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I'll hit it with my with my um, core staff. Woo. Oh yeah, that's a hit. For well, that's no god damn it! I need to figure out how to do the damage. It's with. just D eight plus wisdom. You just click on the quarter star. Well, except he's doing shillelagh damage. Oh yes, which oh. I which I which I have which I have set up. But it's just, okay. yeah, if it's got the entire thing as one thing, so I'll just do. Yeah. Right hand macro. I've been a lot of them lately. Cool. Whack. 11. Oof. Mm -hmm. That's a big hit. You, um, you smash some of the vines to pulp. It's just hanging on to Rooker. Oof, no. Okay. You're so, no longer restrained. Awesome. Um, in that case, can I... Um, so Rook is all bound up, is he? Uh, he's still being restrained, yeah. All right, can I pull my dagger out and cut some of the vines on him? Um, wait a second. Yep, you can uh, try to start cutting the vines. That's what you don't I'm need doing. to make a roll or anything. That will just be the help action to unrestrain Rooker cool. during his turn. Uh, all right, that's going to make it its go. <laughs> it's going to retarget and attack. Pretty. Never run in to help them because mm, ten. it will just get you hurt. I'm going to guess that that is a miss. Uh, all right. Rooker. You're up, but you are restrained. It helps if I unmute my microphone. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to try and unrestrain myself to step in closer. Okay. Uh, so that's a strength check or a strength save? Uh, you can either do, uh... 
athletics or acrobatics. Check. Does, does he get any bonus for me assisting? Yes, he'll have advantage on whichever one he chooses. All right, so I'll choose acrobatics. Uh, 15. Yep, that's enough. You can move. Cool. Uh, was that an action to unrestrain myself or just part of... Uh, no, that is an action to unrestrain yourself. Okay, well, I'm going to move closer so that it has two targets. Okie dokie. Uh, Avanan. Uh, yeah, Avanan. Uh, can I shoot it even no critties in there? Yes, absolutely. It just gets cover. So its AC becomes a little bit higher. Oh, so okay. Um, if I move this way, um, you'd need to move quite a bit that way. I don't want to stand in the vines. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, how many have I got? I've forgotten. You can move up to six squares. Okay, so I've moved how many now? One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Yep, that's fine. Yep, you can shoot him from there. Yeah. 16, sure. That's a hit. Nine points of damage. Mm, he doesn't like that. Uh, he's he's starting to um, enter the wild, wild movements. And the vines are fine. They're just, it's like a massage crossed with a loofah. <laughs> Critty. Oh, well, let's just hit him and hit him again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a hit. It's a little bit less damage, but I'll smack it again for eight. Uh, all right. Yes, you turn this one to pulp. Ruff, 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 ruff. Okay. Uvna, it's your go. All right. I'm just going to look around, see if there was any over here by trying to spy them rather than throwing fire yeah. over there. Do we make a perception? Yes, make a perception. Why is there plus one on them now? Arthur's bonus. That's right. Arthur gives plus two, I'm pretty sure. I've got down one. Wait, maybe he only gives one at the moment. You haven't very, fed him you, enough. You are, you are very good looking. I thought he gave plus two to perception. And pl yeah. Plus two to perception checks as he calls out and chats about hang things on, that he can see. Let me just check something on me. Let's have a look. Um, perception. I already have plus two down to perception. So where's the plus one's a like global skill modifier, which is currently checked. So I need to uncheck that global skill modifier because it's applied to everything. Okay, or I leave that checked and put in plus one. Because you said he gives me plus one to all skills. If you take a bonus action, he gives you plus one. Okay, so I will uncheck that. To anything, it's not just skills. Okay, so I will then go, go to call, uncheck that. Okay, cool, so therefore it would have been 18. Yes, 18. Uh, no, you don't spot anything amongst them. Are, are you going to throw some fire in there? Not at the moment, no, because when I do, people have an unhealthy fascination with charging in instead of, you know, discussing rationally what we should do. Okay, are you going to do anything else this turn then? No, I'll just keep an eye out. I've got my spear in hand. I'll, I'll sheath the dagger. Okay, fair enough. Uh, all right. Um, as these two over here are, like, smashed to pieces now, there's, like, a drifting... Um, there's, like, a glow of life um, spirit energy. Okay, because uh, you've taken these creatures out uh, and you realize that they're going to reanimate as um remnants okay in in some amount of time uh it it depends on the creature how long it takes them to um shed 
their physical form and become like a spirit construct. Uh, but you know that uh, these ones were not dealt enough spiritual damage for them to uh, remain destroyed. Okay, sure. they're going to reanimate. And <clears throat> as that process begins, this set of vines animates and attacks a Farnan. No! Oh, okay, that's working. No. Just as I turn it on, it's all good. Ignore, ignore all those rolls that I just And did. it does you five points of damage, and you are restrained. Hey, you all! Uh, it's Rooker's go. Alright. Uh, so he's 25 feet away. I'll just put these guys here so you remember where they were. Yeah. Do I turn them upside down? I'll just put a cross on them. Or well, you can do that too. It's even better. Smart. Right. I'll save you, Ivana. Uh, nope. Uh, you have rolled a lot of eights. Just four is a, rolled. Is, a, is a really good... Ivana, no, that's about all I've rolled with this sword. Maybe There's some vine around your legs. Maybe it works better when it's wielding itself. Um, okay, they're around my legs. Mm-hmm. So what does it take to break free? Is it some sort of strength? Yeah, it's an acrobatics or athletics check, but that would be your action. That's if, fine. If, I just don't want to be in the vines anymore. Okay. Get me get me out. Oh, no. No, yeah. You, <laughs> you sort of try to leap away, but no. That's... These are... These are Fairly firmly attached. They're unable to wriggle free. Uh, all right. Um, you've got a bonus action. I don't think there's anything you can do with one, but mm. unless you want to mark it. Mm. Uh, no. All right, that's Kredisco. Uh, my bonus action, I, I curse Rooker silently. <laughs> all righty. So this what one, this one's being aggressive too, yeah. Sorry. Yes, this, this, this these vines are attacking a varmint. Cool. Um, Only slightly aggressively trying to kill me. I will move across then and hit it. All right. With my new and improved stick. Stick. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it's still improved from the last time, but I actually got to do the, do the damage properly now. Oh. So does fifteen hit? It, it sure does. Excellent. Why wow. points of damage? That is some good damage. Chonk, you smash up some of the vines. Oof. Uh, all right, that's going to make it Uvnas go. I'm going to move up to Ivana, pull out my dagger, kneel down, and assist. All right, you're giving advantage to Ivana. Roka, it's your go. Oh, wait, it's their go. <gasps> that thing's going to attack somebody. Well, it's going to be the person that just did damage. Pretty. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Makes sense. Pretty, oh, you get oh, hit. Jeez, they, they're strong. For seven points of damage. Nice. Uh, all right. And, yeah, now it's Rooker's go. Am I, am I tied up, or...? Uh, you will not be restrained. It's still restraining a button. Yeah, cool. I'm getting better. <laughs> it's getting closer. Ten. Ten does not quite. Uh, you, you're pretty sure that like your strike will hit, but it just keeps pushing your uh, arm out of line with the ten, uh, with all the vines that are just sort of lashing around. It's making very, it's making it very difficult to hit it. Come on, let's just yep. admit it. It's just holding him back with the, the palm on the forehead, and we're <laughs> yep. just thrashing around like a toddler. Uh, okay, that makes it a go. Uh, I'm gonna try and get out again, I guess, with the help of. Yep. Yep. You have advantage. And try acrobatics this time. Sure. Cool. Yes. Easily able to escape. I still can't see Critty or so you, Arden's outfit. And then as as can I have a, like, a movement away, I guess? Oh, I might have not copied them from earlier. Uh, yeah. You can move up to six squares. 
but quite I can't see um the Barnum or Ufner's ones. Once again, Rook is only one who shows off their health to everybody. Mm. Heart on my sleeve. Heart on my sleeve. Brain in your shoe. Mostly crying because you just guys just pick on me all the time. Oh, if you want an idiot, it would, it would be. My bonus action this time is going to be to curse uh, Uvna. What? Silently. That's not very nice. I helped you. From behind, behind your back, I'm just like waving my fist at you. I helped you. Yeah, <laughs> you started this whole damn thing. No, I didn't. <laughs> Did they, I just uh, identified that they were there. We could have easily walked out of the room. Uh, all right, so it's Critty's go. Mm-hmm. That hurt. Let's whack it. But let's teach it that doesn't, doesn't get away with that. Can't get away with that. No, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Definitely it, no. It's now going to be stuff. All right. Um, <laughs> Oof, no. Oh, wait. Yep. Critty, what are you doing? I think I might bonus action cast healing word on myself. <laughs> yep. Because, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are badly injured. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm no longer badly injured. Okay. Uh, Ufna. I'm going to fling fire at it. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm, no. All right. It's it's go. Um, well, the only person who's heard it so far is Critty, so it will continue to attack Critty. It misses. Hey. Rooker, it's your go. Come on, Caribou. Be with me. Be with me, Caribou. Hey, you did something. That's a hit. <clears throat> you slashed some vines. Huzzah. You feel like you feel like you could do better. It's alright. I'm just warming up. I'm just warming up. Yeah, it's only taking him. How many attacks? Farnan. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll shoot it. Wait, should I? Do I need? I'm gonna need to move on I so I can see it. No, you can oh. you can shoot it from there. Like Uvna is shooting from where Uvna is. It's just getting a bonus to its AC. If you wanted to move, so it's not getting a bonus, you would have to move to here or further. Yeah, that's too close. Too close. Shoot. Yep, that hits it anyway. Hip AC, whatever. Oof. Uh, yep. That arrow uh, pin cushions into it. Uh, Critty. Finish it off. Hopefully. Uh, sorry. It is flailing a bit. No, no, I do not. Ooh, but that that misses. Uvna. I'll flick some fire at it. Hey, that's a hit, and it's effective. A bunch of wilts. It's it's thrashing wildly, very wildly. All right, rising up out of the tangles of vines, are uh, what to look to be now uh, just tendrils of green life energy. Okay. They're no longer constrained by a physical body, and they just sort of lash around wildly. See. I think we should leave. As those have risen up, and this guy is going to attack. Oh, huh, you both heard it. It'll roll randomly. Low is Rooker. Nope, it continues to focus at Critty. Oh, misses. Luckily, misses horribly. 
All right, Rooker, it's your go. Uh, new plan, guys. We take this one down and run. Or just withdraw. Yeah, that's what I said. We run <laughs> through this new corridor. Uh, all right. Yes, you cut it. You cut it down. But where are we going to run? And you can see it's starting to give off some green energy again. Down this way. I'll stand here and block the way you guys head through. Is everyone still there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just Sorry. really quiet. Avanin. Um. Well, I can't. I'm not going to be able to like even get behind you. Take two move actions as you turn. You can. You can move. You can move past people. You can get yeah, to heal but... one move. Oh, it's just a stupid plan. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, we can try and continue to fight these. Where are we going gonna... but... to? They probably won't leave the room. They seem, to, they seem to like being in vines. That's the hope. Um, are you done, Avana? Yeah, I moved. My bonus right. action is to flip them off as I go. <laughs> nice. Greedy. Alrighty. I will toggle dead on this one. Okay. Then move out. Hey, hey, it actually takes it, it actually works. takes six because it um six necrotic whether that matters because it is undamaged I assume or is it, or if you're still counting as damage in the last fight then it'd be three, but whatever. It is undamaged. Cool. So takes six. six. Then I'll leave back here, and yeah, hold here I guess. All right, Uvna. Okay. Let's move to there. And I'm going to eat a couple of good berries. Okay. Cool. This moves to here. Mm -hmm. And all the vines around it spread out into a thick carpet. Filling most of the room. It seems to be very difficult to move. Rooker, can you please make me a strength saving throw? Hey, that's enough. You managed to overpower all these vines that are pulling up from the floor, um, but you do think that it it looks pretty hard to move around in here. Um, this one is to move to there. All right. Uh, it's your go, Rooker. Hey, guys. It's uh, not fun in there. Okay, so as you step into this square, make me a strength saving throw. Uh. Okay. You become restrained. <laughs> As you move and the vines wrap around you. Uh, Afanen. Um, well, I guess... Just keep going, he's already dead. Um, I mean... I, I can kind of see these guys, so I could shoot them as we leave, right? Yep. Shoot them over Rooker's head. Oh, sure. Make them even angrier. Is, is any Have any of them been hit yet? I, I, I damaged one, yeah. Yeah, I'll hit that one. You can tell its body seems to be a bit smashed up. It's the 
mana uh, yep. holding it together is uh, a bit shredded. Nope, that, that misses. Yeah, I will just make them angrier, and then I will run. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. All right. Gritty. So I can, if I step back, I can see they're tangled up. Don't think I can do much to help you there. Unfortunately. Yep, no, cool. In that case, I'll just, I'll just um, cast Toll the Dead again. On, yep. on the one I damaged, already damaged. Mm -hmm. It fails. You shatter the life energies part. Excellent. And disperse it. Cool, and I guess I'll just stay here in view just to, just, just to keep an eye on things. That will be my turn. No. I'm going to move up to here. I'm going to cast Guidance upon Rooker. So you can add D4 to an ability check or whatever. And I'm also going to try and give him a bit of a yank to pull him through as well, if I can. Mm -hmm. or at the very least, I'll let him reach and grab hold of my hand. That'll do. Uh, all right, that's going to make it there. Go. This, this one's going to step to here and attack Rooker. Hits him. Mm. For seven points of damage. Mm. Yep. And you're restrained, Rooker. Rooker, it's your go. Uh, okay, I'm going to try and get out all down right. the corridor. Mm hmm. So an athletics or acrobatics check, your choice. Uh, acrobatics. Yep. And you get an extra D4. Oh, that's easily enough. All right, you can move after your action of breaking free. Oh, water. All right. Uh, fun, then. Um... I mean, I don't even. You took the metro. You should be out of, the, out of the room. Yeah, uh, yeah we're out of the. I'm going to go back over to my spot over here. Oh, wait, how many was that? Yeah, that's easy. You're easily able to make it that far. No problem. Go back standing here in the darkness. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh. Gritty. Cool. Um, I'll ready in action to leave once um, Ufna is moving with me, essentially. All right. Ufna. I'm going to take the withdraw action. Yep. Cool. And then I'll also follow Ufna out. Where's, um, where's Ufana? Hiding in the... Hiding. <laughs> Ivana is gone. You've scared Ivana off. Ivana's never coming back. Bye, Ivana. <laughs> um, I'm going to give, as I pass, um, Rooka to Goodberries. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay, you guys can drop out of combat. Going to wait out of the water up to here to join. Ah, oh, fun. Oh, oh I'm going to have those two good berries. I thought Ivanan was underneath Rooker then. <laughs> yeah, Ivanan was hiding <laughs> in, in Rooker's legs. This is the tokens. If you see the tokens on top of each other, you only see whichever one's on top. Mm -hmm. So that's what no. this happened. No, Ivanan left. <laughs> Yep. Well, it seems like we've explored most of this place, including yep. some nasties. There was. So, 
How do we get out? Oh, that's a good question. We can always wait here until somewhere inside until the water recedes and head out the way we came. Where's Team Kill yep. still, by the way? Did they all die? I can't remember. No, they're just hanging up in the cave. They was they were waiting for you guys to check it out for them. That's right. This might not be the only way we can go as well. No, this is this was the direction we came through the rapids, remember? The the yep. water with the strange hands in it. From but I think we need to determine that our goal here is not to kill all the things we find. We well, if someone were kept throwing fire at them... That just you, made us aware that they were there if we didn't have to rush forward and attack them. Could have retreated. Because things have been so nice to us when we haven't attacked them before. They haven't left the room chasing us. One would assume that vine creatures would have been... Well, probably somehow linked to the room full of vines. Maybe not, but you know. Maybe. Well, I will, I'll put, I'll put my head in here. That does look, does it look like they're following us? Um, does it look like they're following you? Again, do I see vines coming out of here? Nope. No, cool. Yes. Cool. They're not following us. They've been put, they probably, probably, they've been here way longer than us and they seem to not be doing too much harm until we provoke them. Let's just avoid stepping on the piles of vines and other stuff in case anything else like that lives in them. So do we think getting out of here has to do with either that box that we can't get into or that mining shaft thing? Make me a perception check. I don't think it's through the box. Mm-hmm. That's all. Continue as you were. Maybe if we had some music, we'd all think a little better. <laughs> are you, are you going no. to sing for us? No. Okay. That one was through there. Got another charisma check, Aaron. Well, you're going to start beating out some music? Yep. Uh, what are the other two people doing first? Yeah, I'll just like, come, come, come with us and have a look at the room. Grail, Olufna. Over, over to the left. Ivana has seen the room, but Ivana will stay in Breeze. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've, got, we've, got a, we've got an organ here. We've got a, uh, like a, the bench to the Spirit Forge there. And this box that... It has a whole lot of steps in, in in opening it. All right, make a performance check for me, or a charisma check, since you don't have performance. Yeah, so charisma. Mm, yeah, that's definitely what not to do. You are learning. Yep. <laughs> Everybody, that was horrific. You kind of hate <laughs> Rooker a little bit at the moment. Um. If you've ever been around someone who has picked up a musical instrument for the first time and okay. is hitting all the wrong notes while you're trying to do something, yeah, so this is like the guidance is probably still going. With any magical well, instrument. The, the guidance is probably still going. You can add a D4 to it. It probably is. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm not using <laughs> it. It's still a one. <laughs> I'm not using it. The, the guidance probably then runs out. All right. Um, yep. So, yeah, you think? Got to keep, got to keep working at it. You can definitely do better. Uh, all right. What else are you guys doing? So, I don't know what was with this box. Essentially, yeah. We there's it, it, a lot of steps to opening it. I know that it involves a, a kind of like. It's, it's kind of like casting a spell. 
it's got different components to opening it. Yeah, is this the box up here? I don't know. Or down here? No, it's, it's that the one in the corner. What's it, what's this? It's just a shelf That's with um, some um, stuff on it for crafting for the forge. Yep. So if you want to look at one of those, there's two of them. They're um, a little uh, stack of vials, various liquids. Um, do you have Arcana? Nope. Okay. Uh, but you have nature, don't you? I do. Yeah, you can make a knowledge nature check. I'm not very good at it because it requires intelligence. Well. Eight. Yeah. You've never really seen ones like this before. Uh, but yeah, they, they have stuff in them. Cool. They're like little racks of vials. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, do we want to, so we've, we've done this whole area pretty much, I looked around it. Yes, we've explored the whole area. There is no obvious way out that we have found. Right, there was, there's, there's like some collapsed, a collapsed way up here. What was this? Just... It was just a room. Yeah, yeah there was more stuff. just What's all that fungus stuff in there. Okay. There was some fungus and some ash. Cool. Yep. Nothing too important. Does Arthur know anything about this stuff? I don't think he does. He was pretty much oblivious to things other than the pool that he was in originally. I just know of the life well. These are... If you're showing him the vials, he's like, oh, these are much lesser. These are just ingredients to experiment with. A skilled stallsmith could craft them into something wondrous, although I don't see anything particularly valuable here. I guess that was all taken when the master left. What about this musical instrument? Mm, yes, I heard that fairly often. Uh, it made a sound that was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or maybe it was like, ah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure really. Can I try and play that first sound? Sure, make a performance check. I'll give you guidance. Uh, he doesn't need it. Uh, that's pretty good. You're definitely getting better. Um, however. That doesn't seem to do anything. What was that second like, sound? You do, you do absolutely match what you believe he was going for. Yep. <laughs> yep. What does it sound like one? In, in the in the room? <laughs> yeah, I'll try the other one. Yeah, make a performance check. You still got guidance. Yeah, I'll use guidance on this one. Okay. It doesn't seem to do anything. Were they pretty close to what you heard? I think they were even better than I imagined them. Than you imagined them? Yeah. Not remembered them. You imagined them. Oh. Uh, maybe. Everything's like a memory of a dream to me. I wasn't alive back then. All right, so this box. Critty says that she knows part of how to open it. Have you seen this box before, Arthur? Oh, uh, let me have a look. Um, and he will float over. Oh, this is fascinating. Can I... Can I absorb this? What is it? It's a construct. It's some kind of storage device construct. If you, like a safe. If you absorb it, will what's inside be available to us? Or will you absorb that as well? Oh, no. It would definitely be destroyed. What if we open it first and then you can absorb it? Yeah, that would be great. Do you know how we can open it? 
Uh, no. But I could work it out by absorbing it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I mean, at, least, at, least he's, at least he's honest. Arthur is the best. Okay, can I make a check to have a look at this thing then? Absolutely. Box. Do you have thieves tools? Nope. Do you have performance? Performance? Mm -hmm. No. I have insight, medicine, nature, perception, and survival. Okay, well, you can make an investigation check, but, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Mm. You this... don't know at all. None of this I'm actually investigating seems this normal. Flagstone. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's like a handle, and you reckon pulling on that is how you open it, but there's definitely like some stuff keeping it closed. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So, <clears throat> as I said, it, it is it is a little complicated. All right. Oh, I don't, I don't believe me. we can open it from without from what I know of you guys. How big is the box? And is it heavy? It's about up to your knee. Okay, so it is big. Yeah, it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. It's sort of three feet across. Cool. All right. Well, I'm at an impasse. Oh, says Arthur. How about that box? I'll just let him. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tempted to let him eat it. Yeah, sure. All He's right. Been... Watch. <laughs> okay. So Arthur drifts slowly over to the box and he reaches out with one of his tendrils, pushes it into one of the script circles and says, hmm, interesting, interesting. And then he drifts a little bit closer. And then there's a little bit of a popping sound. And he disappears. Excellent. Well, after doing the last song. So uh, you still feel him connected to you. Okay, cool. So is he like... Are you inside the box now, Arthur? Are oh, you here? Mmm. Mmm. Inside your mind. Ooh, I wonder what this does. Ah. Oh, let's not do that again. Ooh, what about this? Mm, yes, yes. The chaos. Mm, delicious. There's sort of a munching sound, which is weird because you know he doesn't actually consume anything. Yeah, well, apparently he does. Physically consume things. He doesn't need to make nomming noises. <laughs> he likes to. But he, but he, but he does anyway. He, he does he like does. to. Okay, so there is a physical and a mental need. So clearly he does need to. Yeah. All right, enjoy. Okay, All right. Probably not a good idea to press a stick into that same signal that he put his tentacle in. I'm just going to, I'm just going to sit down. Up against the wall. Well, if we're just going to wait, should we just take a long rest? If you want. I mean, getting knocked down is pretty tiring. But you got up again. That sounds like a you problem. Are you starting some chumba wumba? You guys aren't um, particularly tired. Like, you did just long rest, like, not too long yeah. ago. So you would need to, you know, sit around, tell some stories, chill. Uh, play some music. Work on some stuff. Yeah, no. you could certainly, you could certainly play music. I think that um, would be detrimental to everybody else's rest, but sure. You Got could, it. if you, if you had some way to grind the sword, you could grind the sword. If you had anybody who knew how to do that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of things that you could do. 
the good thing is if Rooker does decide to keep playing this instrument and it's going to be detrimental to our mental well-being, I have this centipede fat block that the um, uh, team Killsteel gave me, which I could divvy up between the other three of us and we could put chunks in our ears. <laughs> but I've got to wait for Arthur to come back anyway, so that I'm not really going anywhere. I'm just, that's why I'm sitting down, just waiting for him to finish whatever it is he's doing and return. Or not. Um, Afan, they've been gone for a bit. Like, minute and a half. Yep. Is there anything that you'd like to do? Um... No. All no, right. I'm good. So are you guys doing <laughs> anything in the next 10 minutes? I guess Anybody? pretty, pretty, pretty we'll have a look. We'll just inspect up here and see if there's any way we could, like, if there's any, like, openings or passageways or anything we could, like, maybe move and make a make a way through or if it's just completely and utterly blocked off. Sure, if you have stone can, cunning can, or yeah. masonry or Yeah, no, nothing, or nothing like that. Or, okay, well, then you can just make me a wisdom check. Yeah. Or no. nature, if you have nature. I don't have nature. Wisdom it is. Okay. Um, 19. I mean, you could certainly start digging at it, but there's no, like, light coming through. You can't feel a breeze or anything like that. Yeah, no, that's what I wanted. So I just want to check if, there's, if there was anything obvious that we that I could use to, like... Yeah. Also, is, is there, there something is there obvious? Is there a way to turn, turn off the initiative order, or... Sorry? Is there a way to turn off the initiative order now that we're done with it, or...? Yes. Aaron has to close it. Or well, you can double-click on the turn order name. It'll minimise it. You can just yeah, it'll minimise itself. Out of the way. But the, to get rid of the turn order, the go. DM has to remove it from the screen. Yep. Yep. So. I've removed it. I just wanted to clear it first. All right. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, that, that, that'll be what I'm doing <clears throat> while we're waiting. All right. So after 10 minutes, um, the box uh, basically loses all its luster and um, pops open. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, Arthur um, floats out of it. How was that? He pats underneath his eye, which is sort of weird, but it's like he sort of pats the bottom of his self. As though he's patting his tummy. Yeah, it's it was very fine. I I think I understand music now. Fascinating. It was a music box, wasn't it? Uh, and you can see that um, the chaos and law magics that make him up have grown a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. There is structure, but also madness in it. Reminds me of myself. I think I may become a musician. Yes. Please. Um, also inside there, you can see that there looks to be the remains of like some bindings, um, but they've been destroyed, consumed. Cool. All right. Since I have a connection to Arthur, and Arthur now understands music, does that impart any knowledge to me? Uh, not yet, but he, he can certainly, uh, he, he can sort of run you through it a little bit. He doesn't understand it himself. He just thinks that he does. That's when cool. you, when he sort of shows you some of the music that mm -hmm. he has learnt, you realise it's very rudimentary. Cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we can go over to the organ and play chopsticks. Yes. Fantastic. Absolutely. And we shall do that. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Yeah, you start um, playing some sort of, uh, you know, some basics, um, some scales, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, yeah, you can make a performance check to see how well you do. Oh, no. <laughs> so that's not a good thing. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to give myself um, guidance beforehand. <laughs> okay, you can have the plus one from. Yep. Uh, the oh, wow. <laughs> uh, from. <laughs> cool. Amazing. So, minus one, and you get a D four. Yeah, so I got one. <laughs> you got a one. Okay, so. You play a scale, and it's technically correct, but it is so soulless, uh, so mechanical, and so stilted that it's more discordant than just rolling your face on the keys. <laughs> oh. oh no! Look, what does it sound like? It or you don't. And neither, and neither of you do. Yeah. Is Ivan uh, having a good time listening to this, or...? Ah, uh, he's not listening to that. No. Ivan, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to... What the heck are you doing? Do you want to come check out and see if there's a way through this other section? Oh, Ivan cannot... Where? where? What? Did you just walk past Ivan? Yep. Oh. Um... Uh, Varnan kind of like huffs a sigh and then does follow you. I want to investigate this further, find out if there's any way that we can get out using this contraption. Okay, so this looks like um, some kind of uh, massive crane. Um, you can see that it's got a um, chain hanging down of some kind of weird metal alloy that you haven't really seen before. Uh, and in the trailer? The chain up? Uh, yeah. Uh, there a make, a, can... make an investigation check. Uh, I guess that's going to go well. Oh! No, um, okay. So you can see that there are like some cogs uh on the main wheel or like on the contraption that are missing but you yep. can also see that there's like a whole stack of cogs and materials uh lying on the floor there and you think that with some kajiggering you you would be able to get it to work cool i'll get started on that i guess all right this will be a skill challenge and it would be best to have you know Many hands, light work. Is Rooker going to ask for help? Rooker, uh, Rooker is going to ask Ivanen whether they think that um the others should maybe help with this. Because I reckon I could do it, but it might work a little bit better if other people did it. Um, Ivana Drugs, it's up to you. All right, I'll go get the others. All right. How uh, do you guys want to go down to the, to the thing? Sure. What What were you guys doing up in this room anyway? Just I mean, we were, we were doing the we, piano. I mean, we were just we were just hanging around. We, we didn't we didn't go with them. We were just hanging okay. around waiting for um Arthur to come back. Oh, he's returned now. Yeah, so, cool. I know, I was just yeah. writing a little dodgy macro. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Cool. I suppose we're heading down to the place where the crane was. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have a light up there, Grail? Pardon? Yeah, because you're yep. down here now. All good. What did you want to do? So, I reckon that if we move some of these cogs onto this thing, we can pull up whatever's down the bottom of that well. Uh, how feasible of a plan do I, do I think this is? Arthur mentioned something about the mistress who used to be here dismantling all this stuff. Previously. I mean, it has to work kind of like my shoulder, doesn't it? 
Maybe and it I'll does. Roll my cog shoulder. Maybe there might not be anything at the end of the rope. The Nothing, chain. But we might be able to then ride the chain down and find something else. Is the chain descended at the moment? It is. Do we have anyone that can cast light? Yep. Do you want to put the light? That's what, um, that's what Unruk is holding currently. Well, yeah. we've got... Do you want me to toss the pebble down? Yeah, that'd be great. Just have a look, see if it's worth it. I mean, there might be a whopping great big pile of writhing tentacles down there. All right. I'll, um... I will cast light on, one of the, on something and we'll throw it down. Well, I've got the pebble we... that you let the kobolds yeah, throw sure. Use that then. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll be um. We won't, we won't be too much light because only light will be from um. Uvna then. Yeah, but then you could cast it on something else, I guess. Yes, I can. So yeah, I'll toss the pebble down. All right. Uh, so it falls down. Um, you can see it, and you. Uh, wait a second. That's going to look like. Uh... There's a way I can show this to you. Uh, okay, well, you can see it lying on a floor uh, far below. Okay. Um, yeah. Like a stone floor, similar to what we're on now? Uh, you can't... That angle that you're at, you can't really see it so much as you see, like, the glow from it down there. They like, can't sit... Unless, uh, unless you're going to, like, really lean out over the hole. Yes, uh, which you can, go wrong. Which you can do if you want. And then I'll tell you what the floor looks like. Someone want to hold my belt? Sure. Since I am the strongest, I shall hold on to you. Sure. Hold on. Both hold of you roll a d20. And hold on to the crane above me, so I've got hands on something as well. Fair enough. Both of you roll a d20. That's fine. Also fine. All right, so you lean out. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, more flooring, the same as you are on down below. Although you think you see some rubble as well. Some so it's rock. not flooded. It doesn't look to. It just doesn't look like there's water down there. Nope. You can't see like waves, ripples. Yeah. Certainly not glowing with water, like magical water or anything. So it's not wet, guys. It's no worse than up here. What could go wrong? Yeah, you definitely heard like a clunk of a stone hitting stone. How far down yep. was it again, sir? How far? Mm -hmm. Did it fall? Uh, now that you've got this angle, um, you think maybe 60 feet? Okay. Maybe a bit further. We seem to be going further into this place rather than exiting it. Well, the only exit we found so far leads straight back to the river that took us down the first place. Mm -hmm. Do you know what was down here, Arthur? What did um, the mistress get from here? I, I, I would just like to say, sorry, uh, that maybe it led to the river that brought you back down here. It certainly led like to the, the waterfall that you came in on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What I said made sense to what I meant to say. Yep, good, good. So, do you know what was down here, Arthur? Uh, yeah, there's... um. There was like material down there that was being mined. Um, also for like the experiments, but it had nothing to do with me. 
I just knew that sometimes the workers who worked there uh, would get a sip from the life well. Fair. Uh, to keep them young, wash out the impurities of their body. Yeah. I had a very high success rate. Very few deaths. Okay. Well, if you want, we can try and put this back together. I mean, or we just go back the way we came and try and find somewhere else, but... Can everybody make me a perception check? Wow. Okay. Ovna. You hear it first. You hear a... Uh, yell of surprise. Ah! From? Uh, it seems to be coming back from the way you came. This direction. Okay. Um, does it sound like the kobolds? I mean... Yeah? yeah. If they were to yell and scream? Yeah. Right, I'll move over there in that direction. Have a bit of a... How, how close did it sound? Do, do, do we all hear that, or...? Uh, it was pretty. It was pretty loud, but it sort of echoes around a bit. You're the only one who's able to narrow down that it comes from this direction. Down the south. Okay. All right. Did everyone hear that? Yes. I'll indicate it came from down that direction. Back towards All where right. the vines were. Everybody can roll initiative. Uh, wait, I need to put out the turn tracker. Sorry. There you go. Oof. Oh, Varden. Varden's just had enough of this shit. <laughs> Varden is done. He just wants to go home and make jewellery. Pretty much. Y'all, y'all don't appreciate my jewellery. All you do is start fights. I haven't started a single fight. You literally lit some enemies on fire. No, I threw fire. Uh, I threw fire in that direction to see if there was anything over there. And when there was something over there, Rooker ran in and hit it. That's the difference. All right, Critty, you act first. You can wait for Rooker to run over and hit it if you want. I will. I guess I'll move to move to here and see nothing out of, out of the ordinary. Correct. Cool. I will dash then. So you dash to here. All right. Splash, 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 splash. <laughs> That's not good. That is amazingly good. I, I cannot believe that he did not get ripped in twain. Uh, Being ripped in twain? Uh, all right. Uvna. Okay. Is it me? Oh, that was the uh, yeah. yes, yes, I was looking at the thing. You know you can hit that arrow to make the turn order cycle too. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like effort. Yeah, this is fine. I don't mind working my way down the list. Let's move over to here. All right, I'm going to fling some fire at that thing. Actually, I'd probably move too far. That'll do. Um, I didn't really measure. I just was moving. Mm -hmm. It's the kobolds. Oh. Getting eaten. <laughs> uh, all right, wait. Where'd you go? One, two, three, four. Five, six, yeah, you went over two. Okay. Uh, Rooker. Uh, six, and I'm going to take a swig of my water bottle. Oh, okay. Can you make me a constitution saving throw? Oh, no. Cool, you pass out. 
<laughs> so, does anyone want to cue Yakety Sax? I have a feeling that you probably shouldn't have <laughs> as much as you just did all at once. He, he's was passed a out. Swig. He's not listening to it. Wasn't, you. <laughs> wasn't a gulp. It was a swig. It's not a lot. Hey. So, uh, you hear, let go of my brother! Ah! Perfect. Nice. Uh, they plunge their daggers into the vine that's holding uh, one of them. Is this a vine and remnant? It is. Yeah, it's a vine remnant. And you can see that it's pretty much completely destabilized. They're ripping it to pieces. Uh, Avanan? Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't even see anyone yet, so let's... One, I two, mean, <laughs> Rocco did just pass out next to you. Did he pass it in the water? I don't know. He... No, no, he's, he's, um, oh, he's well, over there. Okay, cool. Do you want me to check on Rocco then? I mean, up to you. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying that's a little bit... <laughs> I didn't even know that he has passed out because no one's really had Rocco's pass out. He's fine. That was complete meta knowledge that I was using. Um, yeah, I can't see anyone, so I'm just going to move twice so that I can get... Nope, okay. I'll just stand next to Critty. I guess I still can't see anyone. <laughs> All right. Uh, Critty, it's your go. Okay, I guess I will move up and go past. Have a look. Oh, it's this guy again on the Cobalt. Cool, let's go. Um, Toll the dead. No, bad stuff. No, bad, stop. Yep. Ooh, it does it. Yeah, yep. Oh, we you see it. You see it smash some of the energy it's made up of apart. Uh, all right, it's their go. Uh, this one is going to no, try. No, and... bad, stop is such a vitriolic castigation. It's never, <laughs> it's never heard such a put down before. <laughs> okay, you see it. You see it, like, pierce one of its vines just right through the chest of one of Team Killsteel. And uh, he slumps to the, to the ground in a pool of blood. Oh, no. And then the other one is going to attack the other member of Kill Team Killsteel. If Team Killsteel dies because of you, Uvna... Um, and you see, like, I, I all, these, all these tendrils lash into it. <laughs> ah! How would this be because of me? They were there regardless. If Team Killsteel dies because of you, Avanan is going to try and take his ring back tonight. That's, that's <laughs> fine. I don't care. Go for it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, all you're, right. Because you're leaping to such crazy... Conclusions. You may as well be leaping off a cliff. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy that the things that you provoked Which and then decided friends? that we should run away from are killing our friends. Who came wandering in? They're not our friends, are they? <laughs> They're cobalts. It's my your friends. <laughs> uh, Uvner, it's your Two, action. Three, four, five. I'll come to there and I'm going to cast Cure. Is this one the one that's down? Yeah, he's he's in the um, pool of blood. Oh, I'm gonna cast cure wounds on him. Mhm. Ah. Uh, okay, he looks. Uh, he actually looks in better condition uh, than his brother. <laughs> As you uh, channel your spirit energy through him and uh, fix up a bunch of his wounds. Mm -hmm. Rooker. Yes. You're up. Oh, you're unconscious. Never mind. We'll continue going. Rats, you're unconscious. Uh, the team kill steel. It's going to stab this guy and smash it to pieces. Of course they do. 
And then uh, this one that you heal is going to stand up, step over here, because he's got the movement for that, and stab this one. He seems really angry. I wonder why. Um, and yeah, he's be successful. He does stab it. Uh, all right, a fun then. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hey, I can see someone. Mm -hmm. I shoot it. Okay, you shoot the the vine creature, or the vine remnant. Uh yes, that smashes the last of the construct to pieces. Uh, the mana destabilizes and the life energy disperses. Unfortunately, see, I'm an honorary member of Team Killsteel. With this, uh, this amount of like damage to it, you'll you'll be unable to um, gain a binding from it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, all right. Uh, that's the end of combat. So, what do you guys want to do? Um, this one is like really thankful. They're like, oh, you're you're alive. Um. And this one says, ooh, uh, did, did the caribou not survive? He seems to be grinning just a little bit. <laughs> he's passed out. I'm sure, I'm sure he's fine. Did I, did I uh, see him pass out? I mean, or? ooh. Uh, yeah, you would have seen him. Maybe just team so. kill steel could go and render aid. <laughs> to their god. Sure, buddy. <laughs> Are they alive? Are they both alive? Yes. They are both alive. This one looks pretty beaten up. He says, oh. That thing was... awful. Oh, it's kind of weird vine monster. Strange. But I think I've learnt something. What? What did you learn? Um, that not getting hit by vines is good. Yeah. Yep. They hurt. Yeah. Wise thinking, life advice. I'm thinking staying in the sky is uh, really where where my brother and I should be. At any time we've been out of the sky, <laughs> it's not been great. Fly. <laughs> That's for us. We need to get out of this place. Yes, we would like that. Return as well. to the mountain top. That is our goal as well though we wish to descend descend we need to go down the mountain oh yeah sure but we do need to get out of this place agreed well i think we'll stay near you from now on that was harrowing pleasant yeah uh ivana's gonna tug on <laughs> critty's shirt again mm -hmm. It makes sure. horns, horns with hands, caribou. I'll go check on him. So, what? Well, can I try and see what the hell's happened? Uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. Do you have medicine? Uh, of course not. All right. Um, I do. You have medicine? Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to check on him with medicine? Maybe. All right, that do you want to check on him with Arcana? Or Nature? Oh, 26. Um, you He's are drunk. not... You don't think that there's anything wrong with him per se, but there is definitely a ravaging amount of life um, mana, like, moving through him, and it seems to be... He's um, strengthening certain parts of his spirit. Okay, so he's overdosed. Basically. And he can't deal with what's going on at the moment. Job. Alright, well, I guess we just prop him up in the corner. Make sure he doesn't swallow his tongue. Or anything else. Make him comfortable. What what did this to him? Uh, I think you know how he fell up his water skin with the water from the lake, 
or thing from the light pool, I guess. Yes. He kind of just took a swig of it and then passed down. I assume, I assume it, a lot of it or too much can be dangerous, harmful, well, not good. mentioned that those who drank from the life well, not all of them survived. Ah, oh, Arthur's, Arthur floats out of you. He says, oh, no, no, the life well is amazing. It's a miracle. Uh, everybody should get a drop. If, if you work hard enough, you too can sample at the life well. Uh, it's... A it's drop, you say? So, Do you mean a literal so... drop? Yes, a drop. One drop. He oh. drank how much? <laughs> a mouthful? A mouthful? Oh, well, I mean, is he still alive? <laughs> oh, we think. Then it'll be, it'll be fine. He'll be fine. Look, it only really kills those who are, are much too old for their bodies to be able to sustain it, or anybody who's particularly young. I wouldn't advise that anybody drinks it before their 50th year. Excellent. <clears throat> we shouldn't drink this. <laughs> is what I, is what I am is what I'm hearing. What? We are only fifteen. You are only fifteen. Mm. I don't think I've ever met a fifteen-year-old. Oh well, this is very interesting. Yeah, you've mm. met four. Oh, all right. So some of us are smarter than others. Put him in this corner here. <laughs> yep, so he's propped up. He, his, he starts <laughs> take his weapons away from him. <laughs> Put the weapons over in this corner. <laughs> Make sure that the team kill still doesn't, you know, try to revive him with him. knives. <laughs> mm. And I'll just keep an eye on him. Still, I was interested. Oh, I'm, I'm going to cast light on myself and move back over to the thing. Over to the lift. The crane. Yep. Yeah, the crane. Because I don't think I don't think like I think like yeah, trying to trying to put it up might actually be a good idea. Like I see if we can to bring it whatever it is up. Because okay. like I, I I don't think about going down there is a good idea, but at least seeing if we can pull something up, it might be good. Let's just get a sense of what they were pulling out of the hole, at least. Good thing Rook is unconscious and can't hear you say you think it's a good idea. <laughs> His ego would inflate too much. Uh, all right. Do you want to make an inspection of the machine then, Critty? I have a light source, sorry. I would have I recast I will I'll recast light on Oh do you not have light on you? Okay. Well no, because I because I put it was on the pebble that went down the hole. So you've probably got light on Rooker, yeah. Rooker still yep, has light yep. on him. Okay. Yep, so you Rooker shouldn't have light on him, and it should only be myself and um Ufna now. Cool, awesome. So yeah, I I guess it's, what, what am I rolling for inspection? Probably investigation. Uh, investigation. investigation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Inspection. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 16. Uh, uh, all right. 16. Um, yep. You think that, uh, you know, with a fair bit of work, um, if you have skills like carpentry or um, some kind of crafting skill, uh, that could probably help you out here. Otherwise, it's going to be a pretty difficult skill challenge. Um, intelligence, uh, wisdom, Maybe some strength, moving some stuff around. Um, cool. Well, yeah. I know the perfect, to help, the perfect person to help out with all that. And it looks like, um, you know, the, the amount of weight, the sheer strength, which for some reason you know about, uh, is pretty hefty here. And you think that if you get it wrong, um, since you can see that, like, some of the parts previously have shattered, um, you might run out of cogs if you mess up your skill check. That's not too much. Yep, cool. Yep. I think it's I think it's worth a try. Are you willing to help? Who me? Yes, you. You're oh. the one who who's good, good at crafting and is strong. This sounds like a great, a, a perfect. Yeah, no, I'm not strong. I'm I'm not a strong boy. I mean, uh, you're you're proficient in ath in athletics, which is more than more than everybody else can say. Remember, yeah. if you guys want, I can always cast guidance on you. 
before you go and do something. You give it a go. Excellent. Probably cast guidance on her. If you, and if you want me right. to use my strength, since I am the strongest, then I'm happy to move stuff around whilst you use your knowledge. I thought you were looking after Brooker. I'm just basically checking in with him every now and then. Okay, and cool. Oh, yeah, sure. And sure, give us a hand. Yep. And make, I was making sure that Team Kill Steel didn't kill Steel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To repair yes. this, you will need four successes before you get four fails. Yep. Okay, so what would you like to do? I guess I'll start by trying, I guess, using... I get, You said it needed intelligence? Yeah, you can use intelligence. I guess I guess I'll guess I'll start by using that to try and figure out, like, what's the best way to arrange it, and then, I guess, assist them, like, by... Not, not just, like, telling them what to do, but, like, giving them... Yes, essentially doing something like that, essentially. Just overlooking it, seeing what's what, where the best spots it could be, and then going from there. Can wisdom okay. be used in this process as well? Uh, yes, because you will have seen some sorts of pulleys and stuff in the past. And also, what about perception? Um, perception, maybe was, to find the cog. I was just wondering it if I was going be. to be any use. I can tick Arthur's bonus anyway, but... You can oh. carry, you can, you can put stuff in place, it's good. Yeah, I was just wondering if I will use any skills, otherwise I'll just cast guidance on you guys, that's fine. Cool. Well, uh, this is my first roll. Okay, so your first roll, you have oh, advantage because intelligence is uh, the correct thing to use for this sort of thing. Yep. A 13 is a success. Um, so you start like clearing away um, some of the broken pieces to make room for the new ones, and you think that you can use the broken pieces as a template of what needs replacing. So that's one success. All righty, who's up? Well, I'm happy to leave you guys to carry this, and yep, I'll just sure. guidance you as required and do any physical work. It seems like I don't think I have any skills honestly, that are very useful here. Honestly, don't think that Ivana is going to be very useful either, because most of my stuff is like fine dexterity based. I mean, the thing is, you have you. The thing is, importantly, you have an actual like making stuff. Uh, skill outside of like the normal skill checks. Like, what's your what's your um? What do you use to make? Like, what's your what do you use to make things? Like yeah, things I actually have woodcarver's tool skills. Are they going to be useful? They would absolutely be useful. Oh, do I have woodcarving skill uh, tools on me though? Yes, I think so. Don't you? I do not. Oh, well then not? no. I no, do you don't. I have skill in it, but I'm not carrying any. Um, but you are carrying a knife. And there's like lots of pieces of wood around, so I will count you as having the tools to do it. All right, well, I'll tick Arthur's bonus. I'll have guidance upon myself. Um, what's what's going to query me? What attribute will I be using for this? Uh, intelligence, wisdom, wisdom or strength. <laughs> 20. Twenty-three. That is a super duper success. You are so successful, you can tick off two successes. Nice. As you quickly run away around, shoring up all the pegs, tightening things up, um, and you think that you've got it set up that uh, you can you can get it working. Um, so, uh, somebody make me a strength check. That'll be one of you two. I guess that'll be me. Mm -hmm. You're going to have advantage because more than one of you can put you back into this. Okay. Oh, All right. 19. Yep, so you pull up the entire chain and you see at the end of the chain uh, there looks to have been previously something attached. There's like a... the the chain spreads out. Um, you know, uh, the, there's like a bunch of chains coming off one big link, um, and you think that you can maybe build a platform out of all the wood that is here. There's nothing on the end of it initially. No, there's just a, a ring and s four chains coming off that ring. Okay, cool. 
Well, I guess let's let's continue. Right. I think this is this is perfect spot for you. Um, Avdan, could you did you think you could make something somewhat feasible? Once again, Avanan, I don't think is very useful. Like all of my stuff is jewelry based, dexterity based. <laughs> I'll use wood carving. Will wood carving mm -hmm. be useful in this situation? Yeah, there's some wood here. You can certainly fix it together. Right. Um, yeah. Sure. With guidance, if need be. But also. Like, who's going to operate it? Because somebody's going to have to stay up here and operate it, right? Well, yeah, if, I, I don't think... I, don't, I, I didn't plan to go down, honestly. Um, Team Killsteel are like, well, we could probably lower you down. If you wanted. I don't think we should go down until we know what's happening with Hooker. Yeah, of course. But now it seems to be working, and... And you've made sort of a rudimentary platform. It's actually pretty good. It's not a bad platform at all. No, we, we didn't fail once. That's pretty good, guys. Good work. Go check yeah. the crew again. Yeah, it's because Ivana didn't do any checks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Like, what's so? What's your what? What's your tools that you do? What what yeah, tools do you have? Jewelers tools. Just jewelers. Okay. Yeah. So they're they're, they're not. I, I thought I thought you might have had something more like broad than that. I didn't realize that's just kind of no, absolutely She's not. Ivana only team. makes jewelry. <laughs> Yeah, and, and like, scripts. Like, those sort of things. Right? So, you oh, okay, potentially, cool. like, engravings, runes, those sort of things. Jewelry covers all that sort of stuff. Oh, um, yeah, so in, any type of jewelry type item, you would yeah. be able to inscript them. Yeah, if you want me uh, to make you If there's, a like, necklace. some wood in an item, Avanen could... Oh, sorry, Uvna could... um like do some engravings in that sort of thing as well although not as well M more like practical for Uvna yeah if you want something to look real pretty come to Ivana <laughs> <laughs> if you want something to work go to someone else someone else <laughs> um so you think that you think that uh Rook is going to be unconscious for hours maybe even days Oh, good. It's okay. this the the uh, spirit energy, the life energy, the mana is still just running through uh, Rooker's body, and um, it seems to be like replacing um, the life energy that was previously in him, uh, making it thicker. <laughs> thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, um, you think. You think he's going to be so virile. Ugh. He's so thick. Mm -hmm. Alright. So is If there I don't any... grow horns out of this, I'm gonna be disappointed. Is there <laughs> any... I'll ask Arthur Arthur. Is there any way to expunge the excessive manner that he has consumed from the life well? Ah, uh, there is. Uh, the master uh, often ate the life force of enemies. Is there any way to do it without it being a violent process? Oh, I I don't know. Fair enough. Okay. I don't know how to do it as a violent process. I just know the master could do it. Mm -hmm. We could experiment. Do I have any idea with my previously... Um, rolled ex exceptionally good medicine skill check of any ways when someone has too much mana running through their body, something that the Norns may have told me in years past or... Not life energy. That is a very rare... Like, pe people don't tend to over... Okay. That doesn't happen in the crater. So ever nothing like bending him over something and everybody picking up a two by four and having at him. Just beating him with it? Yeah. Uh, no, to, to you've never heard of that. <laughs> um, but you know, uh, you know, if if in doubt, uh, you know, drilling a hole in people's skulls sometimes uh, does stuff. A bit of tray painting. Okay. Yeah, um, a bit of tray painting. Like, it, it rarely hurts. 
I don't have a drill on me, but you know, I'm sure we could find something somewhere. Oh, T team a varmint definitely has a drill. Oh, a little, a little jewelry and, drill. And this would be, you know, some fine dexterity work. <laughs> um, a varmint wants to kind of like point to the water, like. And point to Arthur, because Arthur was floating in the water before. He was submerged in it at the bottom. Okay. I was just wondering if, like, if putting him in the water would, like, I don't know. But Arthur's more like a constructed type thing. Mm -hmm. He's um, just a spirit. As opposed to flesh and blood. Yeah. All right. Well, failing that, uh, Avanan would like to mend Rooker's clothes. All right. That's good. They're pretty torn up. There's some should, serious work to be done here. I think we should have a rest. Mainly because Rook is having a rest and it feels like he's being selfish. Oh, yeah, God damn it! Look, just because I'm going to turn up at the last minute and take credit for all the, you know, the party's hard work. We're teenagers. There's always that one kid that takes all the credit for not doing anything. Maybe we should push Rooker down the hole. <laughs> hmm. Well, well, not without a cheer. Well, the people it make you feel came, better. The people who were down the hole came up the hole to get some of the life force. So maybe, yeah, maybe Avanan has a point. Maybe now that he has too much of the life wells water, we put him back down the hole. Hmm. I don't know. I'm at a bit of a loss. I think, I think probably probably just letting him recover on his own is probably the he could be out for days. Um, so we will run out of proper food before then. That's true. We can eat broccoli. Caribou does taste delicious. <laughs> Plus, you got the meat cube. I You're do. lucky. I do. I'm willing to share it. But, yes. We should rest. Okay, Since you guys are still much, much else to do. Uh, Unless you have an idea, Critty or Ivana. Can kill steel? Ideas? Uh, well, well, we we haven't explored this area. Uh, was there nothing to? I don't know. You some should shinies? go. You should go. Yeah, go play the piano. Yeah, you can take him up to. Since you seem to be an honorary member of Team Kill Steel, you could take him up there. Let's let's go, Kobolds. I hate this party. Let's go be our own party. Wow. <laughs> None of us have light. I can't see. Can you guys see? Yes, <laughs> we can see. Yes, we have we have fine draconic eyes because yeah, we're, we're dragons. Up. We're going up. Enjoying on, the there's party. A light, there's a light up this way, and I'm running into walls. <laughs> yeah, it's this would way. You, would you would you like us? No, no. Like a light? He he's, he said he doesn't want to be with us anymore. So, team darkness. <laughs> team darkness. It is. <laughs> I got there. I had to run into some walls when I got there. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Well. Uh. They're, they're like. Oh yes. This is. Ooh. There's some shinies here. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um. And they start ta taking things. Shinies. <laughs> they're ours now. All right. Well, after they do a whole lot of looting. Um, they're just like taking all the little stuff. So there's like some items on here, and they take a bunch of these files. Um, they oh, sorry, I'll get out of the way. Hold on, let me just get out of the way for you. There you go. <laughs> they're like, "All oh, right, great. Oh, thanks. This was really interesting." Can I huh. can I fist bump them? <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Make a um, charisma check. Uh, get ready, everybody. I'm sure you'll do nope. it. Hey, that's a that's a bad roll for me. Amazing. <laughs> um, so you go to fist bump this this one, uh, and he he like jumps back away from you. <laughs> You're attacking him. Why? <laughs> Why? Do, do, you, do you want do you want some of the shinies? We, we will no, share. No. Vinyl shakes his head. It goes sits at the piano. <laughs> And 
I'm not very good at this, are you? <laughs> Shut up, Kenny. You're not even here. <laughs> it was awesome. When Ivana tells this story, Ivana and the, the kobolds are bros. Uh, all right, well, shall we return to the group and maybe have some food and rest? Ivana will wave the kobolds away. All right. Isn't it dark for you here? No, the, the piano's glowing, dude. Ah, oh, okay. Well, have fun there. <laughs> um, they're going to return. And this one, this one, who, he's the one who seems to uh, hate Rooker. Is like, so he's, he's unconscious because he drank from the life well? That's it. Oh, no. He drank so too he, much. He is well. weak and pathetic. A true dragon. Let, let me show you what a true warrior does. And he uh, comes and he takes a sip from the life well. Yeah, full. Oh, 19. Amazing. Uh, so he dragon. staggers out of the life well. And he walks over here and he says, See? It's... And he coughs. And you see, uh, as he does so, like a puff of green mana pours from his mouth and then starts spilling from his nose. And he coughs again. And then he passes out. <laughs> and what have you done? I look, I, look, I, look, I, look, I look at the one around you one and say, do you think you could not? Nah, that... He just wanted to prove that he's tougher than the caribou. And look where that ended up. Uh, he didn't pass he, out. He, he, he has passed he, out. Not straight away, though. <laughs> so he was able to talk after doing it, so technically. <laughs> he He's just... The, the brother is just, like, pointing at Uvna and nodding. Yep. <laughs> and then pointing at all of you. You saw it. You all saw it. I will <laughs> use medicine upon him, I guess. Make sure he's not about to explode either. Um, it seems to be affecting him um, differently mm -hmm. to Ruka. Um, you can see that he's actually gaining like physical changes, whereas Ruka's are all spiritual. Um, the this kobold, you can see that his scales are growing thicker and he's getting a little bit bigger. Um, but it's very slow. But you do notice it with that check. So he's clearly tougher because he was able to, you know, make some comments, walk around a bit, expel gas, and then he fell over. So his, he comments, had his comments was, oh no, he had, he's got a bigger mouth than you do, so he probably had a bigger mouthful. He's also smaller in frame and mass, so therefore what he consumed proportionally is of a greater volume. <clears throat> and you're unconscious, so I'm going to have to poke you in the head and say, shut up. <laughs> I don't know. You, know, you know that sometimes uh, Rooker swigs it down pretty hard. Who, who knows who, who drank more? <laughs> uh, all right, do you guys want to... Rest now? I think that's a yeah, good probably. Idea. All right, great. Uh, so, sort of sitting around the camp for a while until you feel Where's the need to sleep. Is, um, is are you going to join us again? Or, yeah, Ivan? Or... No, Ivan is definitely going to sulk uh, at the piano. Pretty, uh, until you Pretty will go collect. Every now and then you hear a single note of the piano. Like, he doesn't actually play the piano, but every now and then it's just like a dong. <laughs> okay. Could you make me a uh, performance uh, check anyway? Charisma check? Uh, for playing uh, the piano? Teenage boys. So angsty. It, it's just, it's depending on, yep, okay, you hit the right note. It's always, you know, some flat, low key. Yeah. Pretty when you when you're around the corner you see like Ivanan's hair is no longer spiky, it's all fallen forward. God it's over like, his face. It's Toby Maguire and Spider Man three. Yeah. He's he's gone full emo. 
Critty <laughs> will Critty will simply say, "We are we've we've get, we set up a little camp and we are resting. Would you, would you like to join us?" Um. Also, one of the kobolds is unconscious now because they drank from the pool. Uh, Avalon is going to speak to you for the first time. And he's going to say, I can rest here. Are you sure that is a good idea? He plays a really flat note. We don't know what else is lurking around here. I would prefer it if we were all together. <laughs> um... Yeah, Critty will try and convince you. In whatever, in, in if, if you refuse to listen, that's fine. But yeah, Varna's not really in the mood to go hang out with everyone. Sure, sure. Well, if you could die, that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Critty, Critty will. How how bright is it there without us? It's bright enough. Sure. We can hear. We can hear. Hear him if he, he gets into trouble. Maybe. Uh, all right. So people are resting. Rooker. Dun, dun. Yes. You dream. You drift in a void. And as you do, did that appear for everybody? Yes. Yep. Ah, excellent. You are visited by the master of your path, and he shows you the step forward along it. One branch leads to strength of body. It will still strengthen your spirit, but not as much as the other path that will set you on a truly wondrous blockwork adventure. Uh, are you going down the path of Valen like you said before? Yeah. All right. So you focus on focus on the body path. Uh, he shows you that you can uh, the path that he chose was that of the great weapon wielder. Um, but you can sense uh, that that is not the path for you. Um, so he offers you a fighting style uh, to teach you. So you can learn defense, dueling, blessed warrior, which you may not know, but that you can learn two cantrips from the cleric spell list. They will count as paladin spells for you and charisma is your ability for them. Um, and every time you gain a level, you can swap a cantrip with another cantrip from the cleric class um, again he doesn't believe that this is the way for you because if you want that kind of knowledge you should go down the other the path, other path. Yep. Uh, he also offers you blind fighting okay this will um, expand uh, the energy of vengeance that is drifting from you and you'll be able to sense enemies within 10 feet of you okay so you get a a blind sight range of 10 feet and within that range you can see anything that isn't behind total cover even if you're blind or in darkness um, and you can see invisible creatures unless they manage to hide from you okay and the uh, last fighting style that he offers you is a blade dance okay which will be when you use blade ward on top of the standard effects um, until the start of your next turn, any attack roll against you has disadvantage if you can see the attacker, and you'll make dexterity saving throws with advantage. Um, I think I'm going to go dueling. Okay, yep, so take dueling. Yep. Um, and you also gain Divine Smite. You gain two first level spell cast, uh, two, yeah, first level spell slots. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And you get D10 hit points. Can you roll me 3D10? Sorry. 
Okay. You can have a four. <laughs> yep. Uh, as you feel like the life energy that's flowing through you, um, it sort of shores up your body. Um, and yeah, so you get uh, four plus your constitution in hit points uh, added to your maximum hit points. Yep. Uh, all right. And that will be you leveled up. Uh, next person. Avanin. Huzzah. Spells like a year. Why can't I select this? Uh oh. What's happened? Oh. Vanan's uh, oh, no. path is going to kill him again, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your path was on the wrong layer. There we go. It's, All just, right. it's just the angst that's just overriding everything at the moment. <laughs> All right. I mean, so striding that. before you is this um, fey figure uh, in his resplendent, resplendent armor. Um, he speaks to you and promises you all the glory that is owed to you. He offers you two paths. One, the more martial, and the other, the more skillful. Uh, so he offers you uh, ranger or rogue to level up in um one you will gain a fighting style and he will teach you to march the archery blind fighting um defense you can gain druidic warrior which is just like blessed warrior but you get druid cantrips um dueling he'll teach you how to use thrown weapons really well <laughs> he can teach you how to use two weapon fighting um and you'll also learn a little bit of spell crafting, uh, uh, spell casting if you take another level in Ranger. If you turn into a rogue, you're going to learn new skills. Um, you will also gain a mastery in some of your skills um, that vastly surpasses a normal person. Uh, you'll learn how to hit people in their weak spots. Uh, and uh, you'll understand. Uh, the language of those that um, do ill deeds in the dark. Yeah. Mm. Which path would you like to go down? I want them both. <laughs> but you have to choose one. I think at the moment I should probably go for... Um... No, nah, you know, stuff it. Avanan's in emo mode. Avanan wants to go rogue. All right, you go rogue. <clears throat> uh, you can take average hit points, which is four plus your constitution, or you can roll a d6 plus your constitution for hit points. Up to you. Oh, sorry, d8. It's d8 for a rogue. So it would be five plus your constitution or d8 plus your constitution. Okay, you've rolled. You got an eight. That's uh, lucky. Nice. Uh, and yep, uh, add your constitution bonus. Do you have one? Constitution one. Is that what it is? All right. Yep. So add nine to your maximum hit points. Twenty. So Let's go. Points will now be twenty. Nice. Yep. Excellent. All right. Um, you gain uh, a skill, so you can uh, learn one of the skills. Uh, you also gain a tool proficiency. Um, we can work on that later. That's not important. You'll also get expertise in a couple of skills, which we will add later. That's fine, because you can choose those later. You'll gain sneak attack, and you'll also learn the language of rogues. Um, I'll add all these things to your character later. Uh, awesome. That's no problem. I'll do that before next session. Uh, all right. All right, I'm just putting a tick there to say that you took Rogue. Uh, the next person is Uvna. Uvna. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you dream of the stars and the magics in the sky. 
um, it all lays out before you. And striding through that map, you see this figure with her celestial bow. Mm -hmm. uh, she guides you along your path. You learn how to wild shape and change into the beasts of the crater. Um, she also uh, teaches you of the star map. You can access your star map through your tattoo. Mm -hmm. Anytime you focus on it, a map, a chart will appear before you. Um, while you have this, which is all the time, uh, you gain the following benefits you know the guidance cantrip you can take a different cantrip since you already have guidance sure you gain guiding bolt as a prepared spell and it counts as a druid spell for you it doesn't count against the number of spells you can prepare so this is an additional one um, and you can cast it without expending a spell slot you can do this a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus which is two at the moment uh, and you get them back for... on sorry keep going and you get them back on long rest Okay. Um, if you lose the map, which is basically impossible, but if you did somehow manage to, then with a one-hour ceremony, you would regain Look, your tattoo. Losing, losing, losing your arms is, is it can be it can be a thing. My tattoos are yeah, but my hers eyes. is on a face. Yeah, losing your eyes is also a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. I said it is possible. Very unlikely. Don't anyway. Uh, you also gain starry form, okay? Uh, a starry form allows you to harness the uh, constellation's power to alter your form. As a bonus action, you can use a wild shape um, use. Rather than turning into a beast, you will gain starry form. Um, your body becomes luminous. You glitter like stars. Uh, you emit... Bright light in a 10 foot radius, dim light for an additional 10 feet. It lasts for 10 minutes and it ends early if you want it to, or if you're incapacitated or die, or you use it a second time. When you gain starry, or when you use starry form, you get to choose from three forms. One is an archer, one is the chalice, and one is the dragon. Okay, and they do various things. Basically, the archer allows you to make um, sort of a cantrip attack with like luminous arrows okay 60 foot on hit it deals radiant damage equal to d8 plus your wisdom modifier um chalice sorry? It's, sorry can you just read that again that last bit oh sorry so archer while in this yep, form as arrows, a bonus range attacks bonus action was it i'm just writing it all down oh it's a bonus action to f to go into the form but then it's an attack action to make the attack um, you can attack oh, no, one creature within. Action. Sorry. When you activate this form as a bonus action on your subsequent turns, while it lasts, you can make a ranged spell attack. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. Wait, I'll just put it into chat so that you have it. Alright. I my I, in my other five year campaign, I'm running a dru star dru star druid. So yeah, I'll be able to help out if you need it. Need it, need it, the grail. All right. Um. So that's that's what the archer does. Actually, I'll just put them all in here. Cool, because I was just typing away as you were. You should be able to copy and paste them. <laughs> I will. There's the Chalice and Dragon. Mm -hmm. All right. So those are the forms. You basically, you get two of them per long rest. Because uh, they're your wild shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Pretty. You continue on the, down on the uh, path. I will be sure. The Do I get to roll hit points or anything like that? Oh, okay. yes, you absolutely get to roll hit points. It's uh, D8 plus your constitution, or you can take the 5 average plus constitution, your choice. Oh, no, let's roll a D8. Let's roll a 1. Oh, for some reason my macro doesn't include the D8. It's fate, isn't it? <laughs> um. Oh, no, it's only 4. That's right. You got two con modifier, pretty good. All right, and uh, yeah, so Critty um, appearing before you is oi. um 
your master, leading you down your path. Um, he would like to push you in the direction of the monk, the true, the true healer. But um, you stick true to your path and go down the peace cleric path. Yes. Um, and you've already chosen everything for that, so it's just divine channeling, um, balm of peace, channel divinity times one. Yep, and you got your extra spell slot. Oh, you also got an extra spell slot. Uh, Oof, no. An extra spell All slot. All right. Cool. Yeah, because you have now three yep. first level spells. Yep. Um, and remember your two uses of guide, uh, Guiding Bolt. Yep. All right. Uh, that is everybody I, level. I guess I HP too. Yes. You D8. can either roll a D8 plus your constitution, or you can take the five average plus constitution. Your choice. I, I think I will take the average. Which gives me six HP per level, which I'm pretty happy with. And um, you will all awaken um, later, fully rested. Uh, the process of stepping down your path seems to have pulled Rooker uh, out of his slumber, and you notice that uh, the older of Team Killsteel is also awake. Rising in the morning, coming out of whatever he is in, he is now about a foot taller than the other kobold. Why do I have... Hmm. I, some reason, for some reason, I have a passive, a passive perception of 26. I feel like that is yeah, incorrect. That's, that's not right. <laughs> Especially because I'm, I'm, I'm not even proficient in it. It's um, ten you go, plus your wisdom. You go into modifier. You go into the cog. You you've got a plus passive uh, perception modifier in there. Which passive perception? Let's see. Where is that? It's down. Actually, that's just passive. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, it is thirteen. I'll get rid of that. Mike Pierre. There's a bonus of 16 passive perception that's been there because I just realized mine's 34. Some, some, <laughs> yeah, but just, just remove, remove, remove the bonus and it's fine. You, so you had 16 in there, did you? I had 13 in there because that okay. was my passive perception. That was, that's my passive perception. So does everybody else have that? Because I didn't put that in there. Uh, mine's 12, but I haven't fully leveled stuff up yet. Oh, I'm just wondering. So mine's right. Yeah, okay. That's weird because both of us had a, a weird modifier in there. Yep. Cool. Is this correct? Let me just check. I mean, I'm happy to have a passive perception what? of 34. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, a violence is also correct. I can see things All right. in other campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> well, weirdness is abounds. All right. Uh, so in the morning, do you all meet up for a breakfast, or how's how's Avanan feeling in the morning? Uh, Avanan feels kind of better, so they're gonna they're gonna like feel the way along the wall till they get back. Okay, you're pretty sure now that you can blend into the shadows, disappear. Oh, I might, I might just stand here then and see. Wait, they'll see if anyone can notice me. <laughs> oh, you think you could sneak up on? Yeah, can stealth. I sneak up on them? Can I sneak and you can, try and... You can certainly try. Uh, Uvna is um, fr pretty... Uh, what What is Uvna's um, passive perception? 18? 36, apparently. 18. <laughs> 18? All right, yeah. Make me a stealth check, and you get plus two to it. Oh, nice. 22. All right, so 24. Yes, you're able to sneak up on them. Are you how, how are do you introduce yourself? Them? Them? Yeah. You just like stand there. Yeah, they, do, they, they don't say anything. They just they just stand and wait. 
Okay. Well, that's the least scary way to, like, sneak up on someone, uh, I guess. At least you don't, like, shout at them when you get close or anything. Um, still a little bit startling. <laughs> Especially for Uvna, who is not used to anybody being able to sneak up on them. Um, and the first, yeah, the first person who notices you is, of course, uh, well, we'll roll a, we'll roll a, a d6. Oh, okay. So Arthur will notice you first and <laughs> says, of course. oh, it's Avanin. Look, look, Avanin's like, ooh, you're, you're like really blending in now. That was, that was tricky. Oh, I'm going to watch you. And then starts like floating towards you, widening his eye as wide as it can go. Okay, now just uh, here again. Can uh, Ivan uh, try to fist bump him? <laughs> fist bump his eye. You're, you're just punching his eye. If Arthur notices Ivan and does Uvna, since we're yes, linked. Yes, absolutely. As soon, like, you are, you are a millisecond behind Arthur. Okay. Uh, what what cantrip to take? I guess I'll take Jimmy Craft. It's a pretty shit spell though. Nice. Uh, you can, there's other cantrips. But I'm, I'm going to take it from yeah. There will. I don't want to take combat ones. That's the thing. And most of them are combat because you know that's what cantrips basically are. Crappy combat. That's right. I took Jimmy Craft. Cool. <clears throat> mm hmm. Okay, well, that will be the end of this session. Um, we're going to call it here-ish. You've regathered, you have leveled, and I will update uh, the character sheets that are needed. You have rebuilt the crane. Um, yes. Yeah, what are you guys planning to do next session, just in case I need to change anything, even though I've already built this entire dungeon. So, psh. Get some, black, really get some more black clothes for... Ivanin. Like black <laughs> nail polish. <laughs> get, yep. get the doors stranger playing in the background. Oh <laughs> you've got to learn that on the on the <laughs> audio. On the piano. And then just just wheel it behind you. <laughs> yep. He's yeah, quite unlocked how to play the cure. This is this is what this is what uh, being around you all has done to Ivanin. Remove any sharp <laughs> objects from I, I, the face. I feel like I feel like this is more to do with you than any of us. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here. Yeah. Remove any sharp objects from, from his presence so he doesn't begin to do self harm. When you wake up, Brooker. Yep. You do notice all your stuff is gone. You've, you've got your armor and like some other things, but like. <laughs> Where's your flying sword? <laughs> Where's your flying sword? Can I call my flying sword? Uh yes, you absolutely can. That's do you want to expel a do you want to expend a spell slot to call your flying sword to you? Yep. Alright. Safely. Like I I I want it to be spectacular. I don't want it to fly through anybody. Yeah, Just yeah. To... That's fine. Clearly put that Absolutely. Out Expend a spell slot. The sword flies over to you. From from where, may I ask? I just it was it, over here. I just, I just put it around the corner. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, it was all the stuff's there. Yes. Yeah, I just yep. put it away because I didn't know what was going to happen if he woke up. Yep, you would have had to move it further away if you wanted him to be unable to control it. I didn't want him to be unable to control it. I was going to give it back to him. Could he, he could was he okay. out of the way as it comes flying directly towards her? Oh, it sort of swoops through the air, does a little bit of fancy um, and then sweeps sweeps and tucks itself into uh, its scabbard. So is the rest of my stuff around that corner too? Okay. Cool. What did I miss? Are we going to uh, go down that crane? Well, we fixed the crane, so that's a possibility, yes. Nice. Oh, and my devotees are here too. Maybe one of them could go down first and tell us what's down there. Oh, everybody goes to full HP for resting and gets their spell slots back. I've been Except for Ruka, who's spells. extended one. I get to actually have six spells 
selected. I was only selecting two. Does yeah. that include the bonus that you have uh, guidance as a uh, guided bolt as a spell? No. For freezies? No. I, was, yeah, because, I should have um, been getting five in the last level, but I was only picking two. I was only picking a number of spells equal to my spell slots. Yeah, than, it's, yeah. yeah it's um wisdom modifier plus your level, yeah. I believe. It mm -hmm. is. Draw. Going through the character mance is not going to mess anything up, is it, Aaron? Uh, nope, because you haven't taken anything yeah, untoward. Cool. I don't think. Yeah, should be fine. If it does, I'll fix it up later. Yeah, cool. Uh, all yeah, right. So Rook would like to go down the, the thing. That seems to be the most sensible way. I can agree with that. I'd be, I'd be interested to see what, what is the what is down there. At least, I don't think it's the way out, but I think it's a... It's it would be good to explore. But apart from that, if that doesn't work, we're probably going back to the big room and seeing if there's another way out because this seems to be a dead end. Yeah, if we can't get out there, then we've got to backtrack. Oh yeah, before we had to sleep as well, we would have consumed good berries, I guess. Um, I'm going to cast my bonus good berry again in the morning. We're fully healed, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess I'll... Yes, I'll go without rations today. I think I've only got one left, so... You can have some of the scorpion, uh, some of the centipede if you want. <laughs> Bits of it are being cooked up. Doesn't sound too bad. It is pretty bad. <laughs> but it might be better than nothing. Wait, just, let me let me make let me make a cook check for them. Just burn it till you know. Hmm. It's possible. It's not the worst you've ever eaten. That's not saying much. So is it better than Uvna's mom's cooking or? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. No, it is not. Uvna's mum actually used good ingredients. She's bad. But the <laughs> ingredients were fine. This is like a bad cook with bad ingredients. And without putting in all the effort that Uvna's mum did, which that's was just, a lot. That's just me in real life that you're describing <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, they had two minute noodles but they mixed like a bunch of different flavored sachets together and mm. only cooked it for a minute 20 and they didn't put water in it <laughs> Cook, <laughs> cooked it in butter it's not that bad it's bad it's not that bad <laughs> like i said it's possible you can eat it <laughs> I'm sure you can I mean, eat two-minute noodles cooked in butter with um, all the Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I've never tried it. It sounds bad. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds real bad. I don't know. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> That's, um, yes, we'll pick this up next session. Uh, XP-wise, everybody gets 125 experience for completing a skill challenge and defeating a couple of enemies. A few enemies. Good work on that skill challenge, guys. Yeah, well, I'm glad you helped. I can help. <laughs> you did stuff. You attempted another skill challenge. You just didn't complete it. Yeah, and it was my idea to even do the skill challenge. So you know, I should get full marks, and they get partial grades. Hmm. Oh, well, because we did it flawlessly without your help. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Cool. 
<sighs> right, well, thank you for running that. Oh, by the way, does Ivanan want the ring back? Oh, uh, no. Ivanan will never talk to you again. <laughs> wow. Stealth no, in the shadows. Not, not, not that he's spoken to you ever before, but no, I'm, I'm fairly certain that Ivanan will be over it quite soon. Fantastic. I mean, he's just going through some stuff, I mean, okay? If you don't want to talk, that's cool. I'm, you know. That's probably the they've, best. It's probably the best you've spoken. They've got they've got a lot of emotions, and they're, and they're also being it. also being flooded with power from a random thing that they're not quite sure what it is. And the girl that they like like was weird when <laughs> they gave them a, a ring, and you know Roka keeps acting like a bully, and it's just a lot. Okay, it's just a lot on a little hedgehog. Creeping on someone in the middle of the night? That's not weird. No, obviously not. Ivanan is super normal. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The you most know, normal. Is weird. Okay. Ivanan is the normal one. You never speak to anyone. You give them gifts in the middle of the night and then you expect them to fall in love with you. That's the normal thing to do. Wolfner almost gave a gift back of Produce Flame. <laughs> yeah, Wolfner gave the gift back of of making Ivana super uncomfortable by just stripping down naked in front of him. Because I was cold and I had to get a fire going. That's how it works. <laughs> this gif of the small animal behind a coke, that is Savannah. <laughs> that is, yeah, that last time when you were all like, where's Ivana? You all turned around and saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, you've... Uh, yeah, just keep in mind that, um, Ivana, your, um, your, like, mark or your sign, the thing that's, like, leading you down the path is that you're becoming, like, more fey. Um, so. The really good thing is, that, you know, have, like, an allure. I'm, I'm very saying. beautiful, but very standoffish. Owls mm -hmm. eat hedgehogs and snakes, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> just putting it out there. <laughs> yep, yep. It's true. Uh, Dragons sorry. eat everything, though. The fun is that pretty. We've got to stay together. <laughs> yeah, I know. The snake is all like, guys, guys, come on. Let's just get along. <laughs> cool. All right, well, thank you for running that. That was fun. Yep, thank you. Yeah, that's good. All right. So, uh, we'll five pick it up thirty in a fortnight. Yes. jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll all be like, oh, oh I'm for bed. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's like... actually going to be possible for you, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be five thirty start for me next. Which session. is fine, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's all good. Cool. 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 <laughs> ah, time zones of doom. All right, great. Cool. Thanks very much. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play a game for you too. Well, have one. Cheers. Cheers. All right, nerds. Peace. See you later, guys. Yeah. Thanks, guys.